Hello, oh, Steve White, Steve Ice 89. Well, Kurt Coleman. Um, Kurt Coleman is on TikTok. Now, if you don't know who Kurt Coleman is and why should you, he's not a celebrity. Um, he's a kid who came out uh, years ago, very narcissistic, vain, um, claiming that he was like the most beautiful boy in like Australia or the world or something. So he got a lot of attention for that. And um, he eventually grew up and didn't get any smarter. Um, didn't get any treatment for his narcissistic um, personality disorder or anything like that. Um, and now he's on TikTok. And he is um, not a friend of the gay community. He is one of those gay people who is trying to get the acceptance of the wider community by basically being um, heteronormative, conforming, and criticizing you know gay people in the gay community for being gay. Um, and I've sort of heard a few of his videos and just sort of turned a blind to it. But this last video, he did something very dangerous where he started to talk about um, trans issues and children particularly. And he did that old thing that people who are ignorant and don't understand the difference between like gender and sexuality and, and um, that basically was saying if you talk to a child about their gender identity and about, you know, like if they you know, are experiencing gender issues and you talk to them about that and try and help them through that, you're basically sexualizing them and you're basically a pedophile and you're going to um, molest them is basically what he was saying about people who, parents and people who basically talk to the children about um, gender. If they have a child that's um, transgender or having gender identity issues, it's it's there's this homophobic um, right-wing idea that you're not supposed to you know help them and if you are if you do anything um, to communicate to children anything about their own identities um, you're pushing sex on them and you're a pedo basically that's that's what he was saying um, allegedly supposedly watch the video you can hear it yourself um, and it just made me a little bit sick because I already made a video about him because um these people who have platforms and I don't even think he's got a big following I didn't check the numbers um, just because you can make a video and talk doesn't mean you have anything worth saying. And I mean, I I briefly met the guy a few years ago. I was in a VIP section in a club where he was DJing, and I talked to him for a minute because I liked what he was wearing. I was wearing like an Adidas tracksuit that was like um camo. But I didn't know who he was because I didn't recognize him because I'd only seen him as a kid when he first sort of got attention, and I didn't follow him or anything, so I didn't realize he grew up and what he looked like. Um, I think he might have even had dark hair at the time. Um, he's got fake long blonde um, feminine hair um, which he touches constantly through the video but then criticizes us for being gay God. Um, okay so um, where was I going with that yeah basically he's just doing harm to the gay community he um, is basically taking the side of the right wing and the extremists that there's something wrong with us something different about us and that he wants them to see him as gender conforming and normal normal and it's it's all the other gays that are the problem and and that leads to the idea of us not existing which is what certain people want um so yeah i i i watched him and i did a video and i hadn't finished the video and then when i went back on a tiktok his video started up where i'd left it and he started talking specifically about some of the um um ideas he has basically that you know anyone who any parent or anyone who talks to a child about gender issues is pushing sex on them and basically a pedo. Um, I heard that and I'm like, okay, I need to do this video again and talk about that because that is really dangerous because that allows, particularly when you hear it from someone from the gay community, that allows ignorant straight people to think that's actually true and allows them <coughs> to justify um, <coughs> attacking gay people and um, attacking parents who have trans children that are trying to help them manage that and, and um, navigate that. And that's really dangerous because people are literally being assaulted and killed around the world for this. And yeah, people like this going out and contributing to that and giving people um, ammunition and justification for actions like that and beliefs like that. And I don't know if he knows what he's doing because he's not a very intelligent person. Um, he's obviously being, you know, he's been, you know, brought in by um, the right-wing philosophies and that, and he's taken them on, 
and now he's parroting them without even, I don't think he even realizes what he's doing and who he's helping. But, um, yeah. <sighs> Not pretty.